Hello dear students, welcome to another English class of study Just the world of educational solutions. Today I will be taking up some important question answers from the poem The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Okay, and as I had discussed the poem, uh, the uh, stanza wise I had discussed the poem and also I had uh, analyzed the poem in the previous classes. So today I thought it will be a fun session uh, uh, when we discuss the question answers which might be important for your exams. But before moving on to the class, uh, I would like to remind you of the social media platforms through which you can connect with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video comes up. Like us on Facebook for daily updated study related materials. Join our Telegram channel. You can use this link to find us on, the, on Telegram. Uh, follow us on Instagram and join our WhatsApp group using this number. And for more information, you can log in to the website www.studyjess.in. As you can see here, our uh, YouTube channel looks like this. Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and like and share our videos and you will be notified whenever a new video comes up. And our Facebook page looks like this. Do show us some love by liking us on Facebook and you will be uh, given regular basis uh, study materials. Now, let us move on to the question answer part. The first question here is, where does the traveler find himself? What problem does he face? Okay, the traveler finds himself at a point where two roads diverge. That means a path which is like this. Okay, so the traveler here is standing and he has two options. And he has to follow one of those. Okay. And his problem is to decide on which road he should walk. So he was standing at a fork. Okay. This is known as a fork where a road is diverged into two parts. Okay. It's known as a fork. So the, uh, the writer here, the poet here is mainly confronted with the problem that what road he should choose. Question number two, discuss what these phrases mean to you. A uh, very important question here we have, okay. Uh, first is a yellow wood. It was grassy and wanted wear and passing their leaves, no step had trodden black. How way leads on to way? Answer, the answer to this uh, question is that uh, the yellow wood means, the yellow wood means what? A forest in the autumn season. Why is it uh, yellow? Because it is full of the fallen leaves from the trees which are yellow, orange and red in color. Okay. The road was grassy because it was less travel road. Obviously, if a road is less used or people travel less on a road, then grass will grow on it. And that's why it was a less traveled road uh, as can be seen from the grass grown on it. It wanted people to move on it. That means the road was tempting. Okay. The road was tempting to the poet. It implies walking on the road. The passing there means implies walking on the road. Leaves no step had trodden black. How way leads on to way means it the leaves had not been crushed under the feet of travelers. So how one road leads to another. So here the poet says that when he sees that the leaves are fallen on the uh, the paths uh, in front of him, uh, he sees that both of the, uh, the 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 paths that are diverged in front of him, they are they look like uh, recently no one has travelled on it because there are no uh, uh, trampling uh, shapes of shoes 
or you know people's uh, uh, crushing uh, the leaves under their feet no such signs were seen on the path so that's how the poet knew that recently no one has passed through these roads and uh, now he wonders that where does these roads lead to question number three is there any difference between the two roads as the poet describes them in stanzas two and three as the line uh, last line last two lines of the poem the answer is this question is very important okay there is no difference between the two roads in the stanzas two and three in the last two lines of the poem the poet tells that the road he opted for is less traveled so the poet when he chooses the less traveled path he was actually justifying to himself कि मैं ये रोड चूज कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि इससे बहुत ज्यादा ट्रैवलर्स नहीं गुजरते हैं ओके सो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ अनएक्सप्लोर्ड इट कुड बी एन एडवेंचर फॉर मी सो आई शुड टेक दिस लेस ट्रैवल्ड पाथ ओके बट लेटर इन द पोएट्री इट इज रिवील्ड दैट बोथ ऑफ द पाथ्स वेर एक्चुअली सिमिलर इट वॉज ओनली द पोएट्स सेल्फ जस्टिफिकेशन टू से दैट ओके आई विल टेक द मोर डिफिकल्ट पाथ नेक्स्ट question what do you think the last two lines of the poem mean that is looking back does the poet regret his choice or accept it again a very important question we have here the last two lines have the quintessence of the poem quintessence means the main message or you can say the moral of the poem the poet expresses his opinion that it becomes difficult for a normal human being to change his or her decision okay so here he admits to himself that once you have taken a decision it is almost impossible to go back in time and change your decision okay the poet intends to walk on the first road but he couldn't do so because life does not offer multiple chances to choose that is how our human life is isn't it like um um we would um all we are always faced in our lives with we are always faced with difficult choices and we have to make a choice no matter where it leads, leads us to and no matter how much we think ki uh, jo another option tha usko lene se kya hota life does not give us multiple opportunities to choose from that is what the poet means here the decision taken may mar one's future mar means destroy one's future or lead to success it makes all the differences that's the beauty of life you know the uh, the uh, unpredictability that you actually don't know what the uh, what your choice will lead you to it might lead you to immense success okay immense positivity he now repents for not getting a chance to travel on the far, uh, on the first road this is also basic human instinct uh, that to even choosing a path and going following through it loyally faithfully we always think in our mind what could have happened had i chosen the other option next have you ever had to make a difficult choice how will you make the choice so basically this is a very subjective question we have got in here this is a subjective question means this question will have different answer for different people okay so in this case such situations occur in everyone's life in today's world people have numerous alternatives aap soch sakte hain ki in terms of career okay there are multiple choices and what path one chooses can define the person's future life okay so the decision should be taken after considering all the ins and outs of the situation that means the pros and cons the possible pros and cons ki what is the positive thing what is the negative thing the the possible outcomes of the decision so ye sab soch ke hi decision lena hota hai 
so we must ruminate over the disadvantages too whenever we are taking a decision we must think of both the positive and the negative outcomes of that decision next after you have made a choice do you always think about what might have been or do you accept the reality again this is also a question that is posed to you that is given to you if there are 10 students in front of me then maybe 10 uh, students will have difference in opinions because uh, everyone's decision making capability is different right so answer is one should live in the present and not the past the philosophy of is is the key to attaining success life is not a bed of roses it's it has its hard hurdles it its obstacles one must not feel nervous and get dejected in trying circumstances now what uh, is the, what uh, the main moral gist of the poem lies here is that whenever you are faced with a difficult choice you must make a choice and then you end up making that choice and you follow that choice okay maybe that does not give you proper happiness or peace of mind instantly but you would see that at the end of the day um, it was meant to be okay so no matter how much you regret about the option that you didn't take you have to live with the responsibility of your decisions okay so there is actually no use of regretting about the decisions that you had made in the past because present is what matters to us all next let us look into some short questions very short questions what was the poet's dilemma the poet was standing before two roads and he had to decide which road would give him success or which road will lead him to a positive outcome it was not easy for him to decide so he stood there introspected and thought long and hard about it and out of the two options he chose one and it was not an easy choice okay look at the next question what was the poet's opinion about both the roads the poet opined that both the roads were same they looked similar they were filled with autumnal leaves they were yellow woods they were equally traveled and there was no difference between them so both both the roads if i say this these were the roads here so both were, the roads were visibly the same okay so that's why he got confused that's why he was in a doubt and it was difficult to decide which road will would be more convenient for him to follow however he chose the path which was less traveled by according to him third question what do the roads represent the roads represent the problem of decision making very important here the symbols what do the roads represent the roads are the symbols of decision making in human life human beings suffer because of their choices and decisions they find themselves in different kind of situations uh, basis on the basis of what decision they had taken out of the available op uh, options they had to choose the one that may take them to their destination okay and the, the choice the person makes becomes the outcome of his life did the poet take his decision haphazardly haphazardly means hastily that means jaldbazi okay so did he take uh, his uh, decision in a haste no he speculated and brooded about it speculated and brooded means he analyzed the situation and he thought about the results about the possible outcomes okay and then he took the decision up after a lot of thinking contemplation here means thinking okay he did not take his decision haphazardly that means no hasty decision was taken jaldbazi mein usne 
डिसीजन नहीं लिया था नो डाउट ही वॉज अ बिट कन्फ्यूज आफ्टर ऑल इट वॉज नॉट एन ईजी चॉइस टू मेक बट ही थॉट अबाउट इट एंड मेड हिज चॉइस वाई डिड द पोइट चूज दैट रोड दैट मीन्स द लेस ट्रेवल रोड The poet chose that road because it seemed to him less travelled. He wanted to do those activities which had not been done by anyone earlier. That means he wanted to explore the road. He wanted adventure from his life. So he thought that this road which most people avoids, I should take this road. then i might be uh, given the opportunity to live a life of vibrant experiences and adventures which most pe- people have not uh, experienced yet the poet didn't seem to be interested in choosing a most trodden path that means he was uninterested in choosing the common path avoiding the popular rat race he opted for the op- option that broke fresh grounds that means he did not go after the common path he chose the difficult one which could which had the possibility of giving him uh, new explorations what is the message of the poem the message of the poem is to make people aware of their analytical skills or choice making skills the poet wishes to say that choices should be made more carefully and thoughtfully one should behave responsibly because life does not offer multiple chances every now and then so if i take a choice now make a choice now and think that in future i will uh, somehow make up with it and go back in time and make everything better that does not happen in life life doesn't give you multiple choices so that's why our analytical power is very important did the poet make the right choice it is not easy to say whether the poet made uh, made the right choice or not he himself couldn't reach to any such conclusion uh, this is unclear as of to what happened uh, after he chose that road it is possible that he may repent for making such a noise he avoided the popular and off beaten path of life and dared to choose the path which is less frequently used by people and this bold decision might bring all the decision in uh, all difference in his life why did the poet take the other road why did the other road have better claim on him than the other uh, on the than the first road the poet had to choose one of the two roads he left the one which was popular choice and decided to take the other road which was less frequently traveled by people Bec- uh, the uh, other road had better claim as it was grassy it invited the people to walk on it the road looked tempting to the poet why because he thought it would give him adventures describe the conditions of both the roads that lay open before the poet on that morning important question here again we have in the yellow autumnal route ro- wood two roads diverged into two directions both of them were covered with fallen leaves and colors of red yellow and orange jaise ki autumnal leaves hote hain in western countries in the morning both of them were still untouched that means no one has gone through those paths the steps of the travelers have not blackened them one was frequently used by travelers the other was not a popular choice and it seemed to be inviting or tempting to the people to walk on it that's why the poet chose it was the poet certain to come back on the road he had left for another day life and its ways are complex and confusing right you uh, agree with this one road leads to another in the web of life one has to make a choice the poet left the one and thought that there might be a one point in his life that he would have the opportunity to come back and go through 
the path that he rejected but he was doubtful it often happens that the road that is left once is a road that we do not come to come back to again how does the outcome of our life depends on the choice we make to reach our destinations important question life is full of complexities and it gives us difficult choices and opinions this choice is never easy our success or failure depends on the choice that we make obviously every choice has its own consequences and we have our own responsibility for making those choices right mostly people choose the most popular or frequented paths in life uh, this is again a very important human nature that we always feel safe in choosing the safer paths but some bold and adventurous people take risks and choose the less frequented paths and ways of life now yes it can have uh, good or bad results but taking risk is in itself a very big decision okay so that is how the poet robert frost made this poem uh, and an analytical uh, journey of life okay especially of decision making i hope this question answer class of today was helpful to you thank you for joining me if you like this video then like share and uh, subscribe to our channel and i will be back with a new chapter in the next class till then goodbye and take care